Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm showing you the new uh, Star Wars Galaxy uh, Tops cards. And I got it today at Target and uh, I'm super excited to open one of these because it's actually been a while since I've gotten one of these. So, <laughs> um, let's get into it. It's 2018, as you can see. Um, it has a few of the, it says featuring brand new artwork. Uh, it's from like the uh, artists um, that some some that I know and uh, some that I never heard from before. And it's always cool to see the new artists um, that come in. So it says 61 total cards inside. Um, 10 packs plus one commemorative patch card. So there's a patch card. I haven't seen a uh, medallion in a long time, so, other than the actual other packs that I've opened, uh, far back, um, to, like, when the Force Awakens can uh, series came out. Since then, it's been patch cards or something like that. They even had a film card, though. Here's the first pack. Uh, that's pretty cool. Star Wars, I love the bl light blue logo of the Star Wars Galaxy. These are pretty nice. Um, you can already tell the detail's amazing. Uh, it's kind of like him going up in the air and then doing his moves as, uh, as Yoda. It's pretty cool. Oh, wow, look at this, look what we got. Looks like an Ahsoka Tano card. Um, when she, she was, uh, she's older. But the thing is, look at that shine. That's pretty cool, and that's all of it. Silver logo. On the back, collect all the Journey of Ahsoka cards. So there's, um, Ahsoka cards, Journey of Ahsoka cards, that's cool. Oh, that's amazing. That's pretty cool, that looks like it's been, um, sketched with many like smooth colors and man that's pretty awesome so yeah these are um um sketches from uh artists that they like sketch it and then they print it out and it's on these cards it's pretty cool i believe tops prints it out Going back to, it looks like Star's Rebels uh, kind of animated look. That's Thrawn. I believe this looks like the scene from Rebels when um, he's trying to conquer a uh, system, I believe. I forget what it was. I don't know. It just reminds me of a scene. A Boba Fett card. <laughs> uh, Thrawn's pirate. Oh, Thrawn's private quarters pirate boba fett card awesome always love boba fett it's pretty cool um let's see flight of fett boba fett like his like uh like his father jango fett i'm kind of reading on a angle because i have my cameras looking down uh boba uh father uh, Great, I lost. Okay, Boba Fett, like his father, Jango Fett, was a state-of-the-art Mandalorian bounty hunter. With numerous weapons at his disposal, many of them built into his armor. In battles with Jedi opponents, both Fets made a, an extensive use of the miniature flamethrower feature stocked into the wrist gauntlet armor. So, it's talking about the uh, flamethrower, which is pretty cool. Um... Too bad it doesn't show it. That would be cool looking. But that's awesome. Oh, this is a neat uh, neat card. It's uh, Jabba. The Tatooine Gangster. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. So that's the uh, first uh, pack. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a General Grievous uh, card. Which I actually will get one soon. I ordered one from uh, straight from 
the artist himself. Um, so it's pretty cool. You can get some on Etsy, Etsy too. Maybe I, I'll leave a link into it, um, the description, but I'm pretty uh, late going to bed, so <laughs> I may forget. So this is cool. The palace and the band. Okay. Interesting. That's cool. A wanted poster, I believe. It's all shiny, too. And it's a uh, Sabine. Collect all the Ghost Crew wanted poster cards. It's cool. This is this feels thicker too. Ah, oh, that's a nice that's a nice piece. That's cool. Oh, General Grievous. That's pretty cool. General Grievous. Of all the dark figures to emerge from the Clone Wars era. Era, General Grievous was perhaps the most reprehensible and feared. It's pretty cool. Alright. Lando Cargusian. Awesome. These cards are amazing. And then we got the droid crew. <laughs> Droids of the Resistance. Yeah, every single card so far has been amazing. The detail is just outstanding, you know? Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. I like the, um... It's showing a few different, like... This species, I forget what it is, but... What they are, but it's pretty cool. I guess they're on Tatooine, though. New visions, most precisely after dark. Okay, we got a new Ahsoka Tano. As you can see, Darth Vader over there on the shadow. That's pretty cool. Once again, it's sold nice and shiny. So, ah, look at that! Irresistible power. Intimate victory. Irresistible power. Collect all the, all of the resistance versus order. Versus First Order propaganda cards. That's pretty cool. And it's nice and shiny. I love the shiny cards. <laughs> we got a uh, Last Jedi. Or Force Awakens. Yeah, Force Awakens. Uh, card. A light rises to meet the dark. I mean, I'm assuming at least. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like this. And I just saw this too. Um, looks like the artist's name will be on the bottom left when you turn it over. So, you know, right here at least. Brian Kong. Brian Kong made this, yeah, okay. Look at this. I like the nice, um, black and white detail on it. It gives us an uh, interesting look. I wish this was like a bigger poster. <laughs> Mike James Horgan. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Just checking and seeing if the foil looking cards are uh, named from other artists. I wonder who picks I guess it's kind of random of the foil cards. But anyway, I like this. It's pretty cool. What is it? Oh, they just came out from the uh, ship into, I guess, the uh, ship where Leia, Leia was. Aftermath on the Tantive. Yeah, I was right. Um. I forgot the name. <laughs> For the glory of the Empire. Nice foil card. Star Wars Rogue One propaganda cards, which is new. Russell Wilkes. Pretty cool. Haven't seen her in a while. It's pretty awesome. 
Darren Peep, is it? <laughs> oh, that's pretty nice. That's an interesting style. Jamie Richards, Poe Dameron, and BB-8. That's pretty cool. The Millennium Falcons Escape. Awesome. This doesn't have a uh, artist. Interesting. Did this? No. All right. <laughs> Guess at the end they don't. Like in the end of the deck, it doesn't have any artists. Some of them do. Some don't. The plan to rescue Han Solo. Jim Messling. Messling. Oh, pretty cool though. <laughs> awesome. Another Ahsoka. Journey of Ahsoka cards. Filoni. Dave Filoni. Pretty cool. This would be a, this is a fave, I feel like. This will be a favorite. It's not really, it doesn't have an artist, I guess, but that's pretty cool. I like this, it's pretty cool. Wookiee's stomping on a, well, Chewie. Stomping on a Stormtrooper. No artist. Got another Yoda card. <laughs> That's all right. Ooh, nice. This has to be an artist, though. It just looks like it. Yeah. Marsha Parkins. Awesome. That is an interesting style. That's pretty cool. I like it. Another foil card, wanted poster. Chopper, looks like. <laughs> Ghost crew, wanted poster. Another one of these, which I already have. I have. We saw. This literally came out of the same pack. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's weird. <laughs> oh. Oh well. That's kinda weird. Does that ever happen to you guys? get the same exact card in one pack. That's never happened to me, I don't think. Ever. <laughs> and speaking of that... <laughs> okay, let's let's get on with it, though. Uh, Chris Penix. Chris Pratt. No. The Sand People. Okay, cool. We'll see you later. Uh, oh, in a second. Uh, Ahsoka Tano card. Another one. Awesome. We don't have it. Trying to keep the dupes together. Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. Pretty new. No artist. No artist, but it's uh, pretty cool looking. I like it a lot. Yeah. Even has Boar Fett on there. Shooting Luke. Too bad he dies there. Well, not, let's just say no. He didn't. Die, die. <laughs> uh, speaking of Boar Fett, though, look at that. Oh, wow. That is pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Another one. Probably said that a thousand times in these videos. Oh, amazing. That's pretty awesome. Ours? No? Okay. Whoa, this is weird. This is a different texture, too. What is this? Guys, what is this? <laughs> it's just weird. It's like, I don't know. But it's amazing. Collect all six etched foil cards. They're etched foil cards. That's interesting. 
Ain't that interesting? That's pretty cool. I like it. Put you there. Okay. Oh my. Did an artist do this? No way. Yeah. It doesn't have an artist's name, but man. This has to be done from something at least, but that's pretty cool. It's practically realistic. <laughs> Captain and the co pilot. The pilot. That's pretty nice. Palpatine. Love playing him in Battlefront 2. Rogue One card. Stardust on Scarif. Oh, that's cool. Luke. From all the generations. That's pretty awesome. Luke Skywalker's Journey. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's that's a fave already. Okay. Have it, seen it, bye. All right, cool. Look at this, another Ahsoka card by Dave Filani. I guess he, is he doing all the, the Ahsoka? Gosh, let me see. Yeah, he is. That's pretty awesome. This is when uh, she's coming out of the portal, which was interesting, an interesting thing. That's pretty cool. Um, Palpatine, I've seen this. I've seen this somewhere. Could have sworn. Caleb King, I think I've seen him on Instagram, actually. It's pretty cool. Poe Dameron, everyone's like, hey, you look like Poe Dameron, at least my mom. <laughs> but, um, I don't say it. Funny thing, we're both Guatemalan. But uh, anyway, that's pretty awesome. I like it. Paul Andrew Andrews. Paul Andrews made that. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's like a sketch. Alex Single. Sorry, I'm not holding these all the close to the screen. If if I need to, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can barely see my screen. It's kind of covered by my uh, clamper. Anyway, Hoff, Luke, it's pretty cool. Last card was a card by a guy, I guess. Ingrid Hardy, that's pretty awesome, I like it. Last pack, guys, then we'll open the uh, commemorative. Commemorative card. Gosh. We have it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Another wanted poster. Jars. Uh, wanted poster. It's pretty cool. Canon jars. A future. Why did I put it over there? The future built on hope. Star Wars Rogue One propaganda card. Oh, wow. Now that's awesome. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Who did this? Stephanie Rosales. <coughs> Props on that. That's amazing. I would have paid like, I would have paid $50 for this sketch on the poster. No, I would, <laughs> still. Anyway. Oh, look at that. Rex. Captain Rex. Surveys the battlefield. That's pretty awesome. Then Kylo Ren. Trent Westbrook. I could have sworn I've seen this too before. That's pretty awesome. I like these. I love these cards. I gotta get another pack. Ooh, that would, that would be cool if I did a giveaway, too. I'm doing a giveaway right now. At least I'm trying to get to the point to where people will vote for their cards, um, the cards that I posted. And they're all, um, uh, they're all, uh, autograph cards. Here, I'll show you a few. They're all autogra autograph cards. Uh, they're gonna vote for uh, their favorite one. Whoever has the most, most votes will it will guarantee in the giveaway. And then I'll probably include maybe two more, uh, possibly two more uh, autograph cards, and then maybe something 
um, else. But <clears throat> I'm not sure when I'm gonna officially like say, hey, these are the cards. But yeah, whoever wins, uh, they'll probably I'll ask for their address so I can ship it to them. So that's about it. So follow me on um, Instagram. Uh, that account is called Tops Star Wars. No, is it called Tops Star Wars Trading Cards? Or Star Wars Tops Trading Cards? I think it's Tops. Yeah, it's Tops Star Wars Trading Cards. I always forget sometimes. Um, I'll have it's the. Uh, you'll see my profile picture it has C3PO on it from an early pack years ago. So yeah. Let's see what this is. Congratulations. You have received a patch card showcase showcasing art created for a past series of Star Wars Galaxy. A past for a past series. That's interesting. May the force be with you. Send me one out of 99. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Guys, look at that. And look at the pur I love this purple. I love when they do chrome or shiny parts in their s cards. It's just, it makes everything awesome. <laughs> More greater. I mean, like. But look, it's nice and it's a, it's a patch card and it has great detail in it that's amazing but it's from a past series of Star Wars Galaxy so this was a card I probably don't have it but that is amazing oh my gosh that is awesome can't wait to show that to other people <laughs> so that's about it guys um, I feel like and then again I'm not really counting I haven't been counting but is 61 a little more than what we usually get in these boxes? I'm not sure. But <clears throat> but it's pretty awesome. I really like it. Make sure you go to the uh, tops. Um, download the Star Wars trading card uh, game on like your iPhone. Um, or Google Play. It's pretty awesome. You can trade cards. Cards like from these to uh, even other things. So it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. You can trade from to friends. You can buy more cards. You can buy packs, uh, digital packs, stuff like that. And sometimes when you get small packs of actual cards that you get from like Target or uh, other places, um, you can find codes randomly um, inserted in there and you can put it in uh, one of the code readers on topstarwars.com, I believe, or something like that. And then you are entered in a giveaway. So it's pretty cool. But I hope you guys like it, like this video, and stick around for more. Uh, I'm almost done with my semester, so I'm very happy about that. I'll probably get into more videos soon enough until I get back into school, which sucks. Because I hate it. <laughs> but, you know what? I'm taking everything nice and slow, calm, and whatever. So, I'm not in a stressful situation fully at the most. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.